Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 6. So lesson 6 we'll be learning on how to create a 2D drawing. So we will create a 2D drawing and as well as all the different views that we can obtain. Other than that, we will also add annotations to actually improve our drawings. Okay, once we open the 3D part, we can actually click on this icon over here. We go to the drop down list and then we click on 2D sheet. So this will lead you to the 2D environment. Otherwise, you can also do a right click, okay, and then you go to 2D sheet. This will also lead you to the same page as well in the 2D environment. Okay, so now for this part, we will create a 2D drawing. We will go to 2D sheet, and then we will select the paper size as A3. We click on OK, and then we will enter the 2D environment. So we will click on layout, okay, it will show you a standard layout over here. So you can choose your projection over here to be first angle or third angle. Okay, the different views you want to have. So I want to include an uh, isometric view as well over here. Okay, and then here are different settings that you can choose. For example, you can choose your scale. Okay, 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. You can also change different settings over here. General, label, which will change your labeling fonts and settings lines okay and your component so i'll just click ok and i'll have these four views over here so if i want to change any settings for any of the view i'll just go to the view okay you see this highlighted yellow box double click okay then i can change for example if i want it to be shaded okay then i click ok and then it will be shaded Okay, so you notice that this view over here actually clash with the information box here. So what I do is I'll click, left click, and then I drag, then I release. Okay, it will highlight these two views for me. So I just click any one of it, I'll shift it up. Okay, I can estimate the location and I release. Okay, so if I want to change the color of the echo line to another color that's more obvious i'll go to this gear button go to color okay you see echo face and echo wire over here in green so i just change it to a different color click on apply okay okay so now i try again click drag okay you see that the color has changed to red color which is more obvious okay so now we'll create a base view okay so over here you can go to layout standard okay i will select top view okay i'll click on any location i want for example here okay then i'll click on to okay okay if i want to do a projection i can actually do a projection like this okay click okay or i can click on this projection icon over here so if i click on this projection icon they will prompt me to select the base view click on this one when it's highlighted in yellow box okay now you see that it has prompted you to go to the location so I'll click over here for the location of the project projected view that I want click here and then OK so for the projection view you can notice that if I want it to be first angle it is possible as well I can just toggle between first and the angle before I click on the projection view Okay. what if I do not want this kind of standard views okay for example if I want to add a sign view I will go to back exit it into the 3d environment okay I pan around and then I rotate using the middle mouse button okay for example if I want this view over here okay I want my view to be like that in the drawing okay I'll rotate it to this position Go to the managers panel over here okay i click on this view manager okay and then i go to custom view do a right mouse click click on new okay i will name it to be view one okay click ok now you have view one over here all right then we go back to this drop down list we go to 2d sheet under layout we go to standard again so for the view over here, we will choose a different view, we will choose our 
view one as named previously. Okay, so you see our view work appear up here. Then just click on any location. If you want to, you can change the skill over here. For example, I change it to one to two. Okay, then I can click over here, and then I can click OK. So what if I want to add an isometric view? Same thing as before. I'll go to standard. I'll go to isometric. Okay. Then I will have my isometric view over here. Simple as that. If I want to change my scale, I can also change it as well. Okay, I can just go to the yellow box, over my mouse over it, double click, change my scale. Okay. I can also shift the position, and then it will be done. Now, if I want to create a section view, I will head over to layout. Okay, I can go to here full section or you can select full section from this drop down list. Okay, the base view, I want it to be this view. I click on it. Points, which means the point of the line that you want to dissect. So I click one point here. You see, one picked. And then the next one, I click over here. Two picked. Okay, then I will hit on to click this location box over here. Do a left mouse click and this box is highlighted in green. Now you can select your location where you want the section view to be. Then I click over here and then I'm done. Before I click OK, I can actually choose to flip the arrow. So you see once I flip the arrow, this direction will change. See? Okay. Or I can change the label name. Then I click OK. So you see when I change the direction, this will be changed as well. So if I want to change the settings of this, I can just double click and then I can change the shape arrow. I can change to go to text, the size of the words. Okay. Okay, now we will create a detailed view. So we will click on layout again, click on detail, we will select Okay, as prompted, the base view, we'll select this one. Okay, for the point, it is where the origin of the circle will be. So, we put over here. The note point, okay, will be where you want your range of your detail view to be. Okay, maybe I want it to be over here. So, I click here. Okay, then the label or the detail view will pop up so you can choose the location of where you want your wording to be I'll like it to be over here okay now you have to manually go to this location you click and then this box is highlighted in green okay then you can click on your detail view where you want to place it the location I'll choose it here and then I put OK if I see that this text is a bit too small double click it Text. I can change the size to whatever size I would like. Click on OK. See, now the text size is changed. Other than double clicking it, okay, which will lead you to the attribute, so you can also do a right mouse click. It will also show you the attributes as well. Okay, so now we will create a 2D drawing for this part over here. We click on 2D sheet. We select the paper size as A3. We click OK. Okay, then we select a uh, layout view, the part name, okay, the projection I would like it to be the angle, and then I want to include an isometric view. Okay, so the skill is fine for me, I'll just keep it as it is, then I'll click OK. Okay, so this isometric view over here, if I would like it to be shaded, I'll double click it, I'll hold over it until this yellow box appears, double click, click on shaded. Okay, then click OK. If you see closely enough, there's actually hidden lines that is shown. If I want to hide the hidden lines, okay, I can go back again, hover it, double click. Okay, I will uncheck this hidden line box over here. Okay, check it, click OK. So you see, now the hidden lines are gone. Okay, same thing over here, I will actually move my part upwards so it will not block the information box okay view over here i'll just delete it okay now i would like to include a section view over here and a detail view over here so i go to full section okay 
my base view I select okay my points zoom in okay one point here and then the other point over here now the location I will pick it as over here then I click OK so now I will have a section view over here you can shift the view slightly to the left next I would like to insert one more detail view over here I'll go to detail okay base view same thing I'll select this as my base view if I want to okay the point will be the origin and then the note point it will be your outer circle okay click over here then they will prompt you to locate your label okay so I will put my labeling over here and the location I need to manually click on this box okay so it's highlighted in green then I can select where I want to put my detail view I'll select it over here then I click on OK so now the detail view is over here okay so if I want to change the location of this wording here detail A I will hover until this blue dot appears okay then I can drag and move okay same goes to this I can drag and the size will change okay see ya? for example if I shift out this is how my detail view will look like if I shift this back in this is how my detail view will look like okay same thing if I want to change the size double click click on text change the size click OK double click on this if I want to change the type of line I can change it into a solid line and I click OK so if I want to change the name over here I can actually double click and then I can change it to view A but I will keep it as detail A double click it detail A okay so now we are done with this example over here next we will try to add in dimensions in our 2d drawings okay we'll add the dimensions for this view over here okay we will go to dimension okay we will click on dimension okay then we will click on this point here okay then we'll click this point here and we will just scroll up do a left mouse click okay so if I want to have the height of this I will just click here second point here does not necessarily have to be vertically down you can do it over here it's okay as well then I'll hover to the right then I'll get my dimension okay if I want a dimension of the circle it's also okay I'll just click on the outer circumference okay then after that I will hover outside zoom up and then I'm done okay you can also instead of using this quick dimension you can select the type of dimension that you want before you do the dimensioning okay for example if I want to dimension this circle over here I can click radial or diametric then after that I'll just click here they will automatically know that it is a radial dimension and I click OK so this is how you make dimensions on the 2D drawing ok so now we'll do a bomb table for this part you go to layout bomb table here select your base view as this then you click OK then you will choose the location for your bomb table click OK and then your drawing is done okay so now you add a notation okay under drawing tab over here we can select text and then we click on a location where we want to input our text okay and then you can just input whatever text you want to write in okay and then you click OK or you can change your height of the text you can change the font of the text or the color and then you can click OK then your text will appear over here so it's actually very simple okay so this is the end of all the tutorials if you would like to have any more training resources you can always visit the ZW software page thank you